Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I am Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. I'm Office Bloke Daz. And you've reached the uh, Office Blokes Life Coaching line where we're going to teach you how to achieve all of your dreams, goals. We're going to teach you how to get all the women you want, be a millionaire, smoke cigars. Uh, what else do we do? We've got the wrong channel, if that's the case. <laughs> oh shit, right. No, sorry. I just to, It's what Andrew Tate does, isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. I don't know who he is. Yeah, I've, I've, it went from not knowing who he was to he's absolutely all over TikTok, YouTube, mm. podcasts. He's, he's like He's literally everywhere. Mm. What, is he a comedian or? No, no he's, he's an influencer. Oh, right, well, he's, okay. that's what he claims to be. Yeah. Right. He's a, he, he originally was a kickboxer. Oh, yeah. And think, yeah, he has like... um few like online businesses as well where he teaches people how to make money which is like right. 50 quid a month or something yeah he's, he's got like i think he's one of these new sort of rising alpha male characters yeah, you know yeah, that teaches yeah. you how to be a man and yeah. how to put women in the place and like <laughs> some of the clips i've seen are pretty controversial oh, where it's like so controversial yeah he's not he's obviously a fan of women in the bedroom but in it's like very old school belief, so just keep your mouth really? shut. Let, let me handle like this, business. I'm going to like this guy, then, aren't I? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's the thing. He's, he's a very intense character, and I saw a clip of him the other day where it, someone said, um, "This, the fact that you're going viral at the moment and you're everywhere, is that a concerted effort?" And he went, "Yeah." He went, "That's that's part one of my three phase plan." And that's they part said, two and three. And that's exactly what they said to him. He went, "You'll see." And it's like he's trying to become, I think he's just trying to become like... Where's he from? What nationality he's, is he? He's, he's, he's English and American. He, when he was fighting, he fought, he fought out of Luton, but he lives Luton? in Romania. He lives in yeah. Romania. He lives he, in he, Romania? He, he, owns, yeah, he owns casinos in Romania and stuff. Yeah, and he, he owns like shares in a uh, mixed martial arts league in yeah, Romania. Supercars, he he's rich, he's really rich. Fair yeah. play to the lad. He's, Never heard of him. He's obviously done very well. Mm. And um, his version of hustling is working for him. But again, like some of these clips of him on podcasts and stuff, some of the things he says, you're like, it's hard to get behind a bit of it. Yeah, no, would no. I get on his funniest moments? Would I get these or would I need context? I don't, I don't know because I've not seen this, right. and I've only seen clips and I've seen people talk about him more Is than that I've actually seen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just if you met him in the street and he spoke to you the way he talks on videos, like instantly, I'd think he's a douchebag. Right, I'd like. Right. Come on, mate. I quite like him to be honest. Yeah, he, he has a lot of things he says that I don't agree with, but I quite like him. It's, it's hard to deny the fact that he's a character and he's like, it, yeah, whatever he's doing is working for him. But we'll get into it. Andrew Tate, him. funniest moments. Slap, slap, <clears throat> grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. <laughs> <laughs> little electric, my little plug. Ooh, let, me, let me get my little plug and plug it into my Tesla. Ooh, maybe I can get an erection one day. Is this the man you are? Most things the left try to present, you have to keep things realistic. No years ago natural selection and evolution would have taken care of all your fucking retard ancestors but yet here you are standing my face saying you don't eat gluten yes you fucking do only a cat owning bitch would complain <laughs> to the police about a fucking joke fine you're upset you lost your cat fair enough yeah the joke may have been a little bit you know risque who calls the police on a fucking joke? Cat owners. Cat owners are liberals. <laughs> Cat owners believe in hate speech. Cat owners are Democrats. Cat owners are dickheads. Look like a bitch. <laughs> See, there's, there's like, it's so hard to, like you said, you don't agree with everything he says, no, but, but like it's also him. really funny. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, He might be fighting um, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Look, it talks about Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. Right. Yeah, although I think he's kind of losing his momentum, Jake Paul, with mm. trying to do fights and pulling out and yeah, all yeah, this sort of stuff, yeah. isn't he, a bit? But I think he's a legit fighter. He's he obviously is, like he is, a legit. He he's good as well. Yeah. He's like four-time uh, kickboxing champ of the world or something. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's, I saw his record today or yesterday, and it's like it's pretty impressive. I mm. think it's, you know, something like 67 wins and a few losses or something. But he's, Some of the things he said, they were really funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, I, I feel like he's the new Dan Bilzerian. I feel like he's filling that void of like playboy, rich, mm. loads of guys looking at him going, I'd love to have that life. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all very dubious yeah. and a yeah, bit sketchy. Yeah. Oh, I'm like these fucking mask wearers. No, you're... <laughs> I walk into hell and the devil's like, oh, I'm going to burn you. So you're going to do shit. I find myself super funny. <laughs> I find myself super funny. Imagine I'm in I'm in my fucking six liter B12 Aston Martin Vanquish. Gets about ten miles to the gallon max. I'm sitting there. I'm chilling. There's a traffic jam. No big deal. Whatever. Big Daddy Tate. I can handle it. Someone goes, 
There's a climate change activist and they blocked the road. What? There's climate change activism, extinction rebellion. Yeah, I'll show you an extinction. You're a fat, <laughs> ugly sack of shit. To a poor country, no one's depressed. If they have food and their family members are alive, they're all laughing and dancing. Africans ain't even got roofs on their houses. Every time you fucking look at a documentary, they all stop dancing around. I ain't dancing around like that ever. I'm never that happy. What the fuck are you happy about? I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend, you better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a person. This one's bad. Well, I had a heart attack, get the fuck up. And the most annoying thing about this fat cunt is that- <laughs> The one thing about that, if, it's gonna, if it, might, it might happen to him one day, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't, but it might happen to him one day where he does have a heart attack and someone just goes, Dr. Cunt goes, get the fuck up. Yeah. 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 Like he's obviously, his momentum and his upward trajectory is like skyrocketing and he's on the up. So he can say things like this. And like, he's obviously had a really good fighting career. He's very rich, obviously for whatever reason, does well with women. Mm. But it, I don't think he's, he's peaked. And at some point he will peak and he'll go mm. down. Yeah. And he might chill out a little bit and have a different perspective. On if he things, fights maybe. Jake Paul and loses, I think that's what, that's what get yeah. him to go right down. He can't lose. I mean, yeah, I think his whole, lose, yeah. his whole image. Neither can Jake Paul. Yeah, exactly. I, th I mean, he's a, Who's the bigger Who's the bigger influencer online influencer? I'd say Jake Paul. I'd say Jake, Jake Paul. Paul, but re like Andrew Tate's just come out really quite recently though, hasn't he? Yeah. I, but I think like at, at the at the moment, I'd probably say Andrew Tate to mm -hmm. be honest. But overall, Jake just Paul definitely. Just, yeah. <laughs> just look at him though. Like, <laughs> he's serious, isn't he? But he looks like he's got no brain cells whatsoever. <laughs> but actually, like he says quite a lot mm. of articulate things and has done very well in mm. life by all accounts. Get the fuck up. And the most annoying thing about this fat cunt is that <laughs> when he's DJ, he MCs. And when he MCs, all he says over and over again is, oh my God. Okay. Bodybuilding is a beauty pageant where dudes try their best to put on muscle so other dudes can say, you're the best looking dude. It's gay. It's super gay. I said, tell him it's gay all the time. It's not gay, it's hard work, dedication, blah, blah, blah. Some of history's greatest and most influential men have been cigar smokers. Sir Winston Churchill, Jack Nicholson, and of course, Hannibal Smith from the 18th. <laughs> Long, cold, lonely night. She's saying, I don't care if you're a rocket scientist. I don't care if you're a businessman. I don't care how successful you are. I don't care about nothing. I need dick. Because if, if I'm kept warm, dicked right, on a long, cold, lonely night, any night. Basically, I'm a hoe. I need dick. That's all I'm interested in planet is this they're on the radio back and forth back and forth and and i heard the little one the little hijabi one say oh maybe we need a male officer basically saying we can't arrest this dude so got these two little women who can't arrest me but threatening to can't chase anyone but telling me i have to fucking sit still so i said okay i agree this is my public declaration i got my phone out and start recording i wish i still had this fucking video this is my declaration i agree i will not chase the car i'm saying now i'm free to go i'm not a criminal i'm free to go i will not chase the car and they were like they knew i was lying <laughs> they were like he's gonna go chase the car are we gamblers where's your mask what do you mask mask what do you mean mask let me tell you a secret luke i'll kick the motherfucking fuck out of you I know you said money isn't real, but I am getting fucked. <laughs> what pisses me off most? It's just a lunatic, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. A full blown lunatic. I think the world is full of guys like this, but that aren't successful. I think that the world the way it's come now is is this is this to make you successful. It is. Mm. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like it saying before, I don't necessarily agree with the things he's saying, mm. but it seems to be working for him. Yeah. yeah. Whether he's just completely blagging it all and it's all pretend. Yeah, possibly. That's what I was thinking before. Maybe it's not his, maybe it's just a show. Yeah, he's just got people thinking he's telling the truth. Yeah. 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 He may just be scheming the whole influencer system mm. and, and yeah. doing well out of it. And that Fake might be stage two to say, show, I told you. Look at these. No. I, I think stage two is like, is fighting someone like Jake Paul. Stage three, running for president. Prime Minister, <laughs> is he is he an American national as well as a, a British he's, national? He, if you, I think he just says he's an American English. Like he just, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it, if it's like one parent of each. But I think he was born in England though. His skin tone is getting darker and darker throughout these videos. <laughs> and it started off a white guy. He gets the beard. <laughs> you 
thick box. Beer break. <laughs> Garden. Exactly. And that was the only time that today only that time. people have been talking behind each other's backs. This guy's a fing liar. That was the only time. Listen, bro, just. Big brother in there. Yeah, this is all you know, you know that brother. is. <clears throat> the girl or the guy? Beer break. Drinking Fosters. I've lost all yeah, respect yeah, no. for him now. I was going to say that. That was the only time that today only that time. people have been talking. Him. He's going to be from like one of the reality TV programs, isn't he? I think that's Marco Pierre White's kid. Who? You know the chef? Yeah. Marco I Pierre White. Yeah. I think that's his son. So is he famous for being the son of a chef? That's how I know him. If it is him, it looks like him. Mm. I like Marco mm. Pierre White as well, but... I used to follow an account called Marco Pierre Shite. Really? <laughs> so I can't get out of my head. <laughs> So it, was this like Celebrity Big Brother or was this uh, just normal? No, I think this is just normal Big Brother. <clears throat> I don't know, but I think that's his son. Wow. Man, turns back, this guy's a f***ing liar. That was the only time. Listen, bro, just be, don't talk to me right now, okay? You can say five words and I'll walk I'm, off if you want, yeah? Why would you come in here and start like that, though? Why wouldn't you introduce yourself and then tell us tomorrow or something? Be respectful, because okay. you, respectful you come into guy. here. You came into here and we called eight of us snakes. Yeah, of course. You didn't even, you didn't even tell us your you? name. Oh, All you did was go, oh, eight of you are snakes. Stood up, just stood up really quick. And as I stood up, he shat himself and dropped his pen. I stood up and he went and dropped his pen. This is the, these, these are your masters. You mess with me, you're gonna learn something. Hey, yeah. Ain't ready for the big man slap. I got a big hand. I'll bust their jaw <laughs> with the bottom of my hand and the top of their head will be feeling the sting from the fingers, like the whole boom. Um, <laughs> a, things I'm happy to show and B, he doesn't know anything illegal, it's fine, film anything, Dave. He, he told me it's fine. He told me it's okay. He said it's all right. So just just follow us around. Get the camera out when you want. I want to see every edit before it goes out. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to be. All right, if you agree that you can't make changes. No, I want to see every edit before it goes out. I want to make it very, don't be taking the piss and just trying to make me look like a, a cunt because that's the last Too thing. easily done. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold in Romania? Yes, Dave. It's cold in Romania. That where they put that clean film around it. It's Why? Actually, it's to prevent people from putting stuff in your suitcases or taking stuff out of your suitcase. But who's yeah, going to put shit that. in your suitcase after you check it in? It's uh, people that work at the airport, they smuggle drugs by putting it in people's suitcases and then a person at the other side will take out the suit. I, I'm sorry, James. I do not believe that shit for a second. Never. Why well, does he just pick that up? Yeah. Non-stop. Hi. Nice to meet you. Fuck Australia. And second, <laughs> second <laughs> you believe should be allowed to have weapons. The army and the maybe police. The army and the police. The, the ones who aren't racist. Okay. I want you to listen to a song and every 11 to 12 seconds, Say, oh my God, over it. And after an hour, I guarantee you feel like murdering somebody. Well, the French are weird. <laughs> Who's he talking about? One dude. I don't know. About 50. He's talking about some DJs. Yeah, it's going to be DJ Khaled, Khaled. isn't it? Because he yeah. said fat guy. Mm. And then he just said he just shouts the same yeah. thing over and over <laughs> again. Mm. It's just some of these out of context where it's just like, fuck Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's pretty funny. Got naked. Then go on the dance floor and just like start to dance. Just like, why? 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 Why would you do that? Why would you get completely naked? If you want to dance, just da like, why would you get completely naked and just go to your shit dancing? They don't eat gluten. I need you to do something for me. We have to make sure that no one ever says it again. So what happens is you're standing there and they say, oh, I don't actually eat gluten. Get in the cage and I'll show you what Fox <laughs> is. Your wife can watch from somewhere in the back. This is Romania. we got beautiful women around. There's going to be like hot chicks around. She has to be in a burqa or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's someone who has curated such an image of himself. I think he it is fake it till you make it. Mm. But I think he might have made it. So was he in Big Brother? It sounds like it. Looks it. like he was in he Big was Brother, Big doesn't he? Yeah. It looked like Big Brother, didn't it? It was. Yeah. I'd like to say first time I've ever seen him. I've only seen clips. Like there's loads of viral clips of him just saying controversial stuff. Yeah. And, like these podcast clips where he's talking about his views and beliefs with yeah. women, which are very sketchy. Mm. Does he have a channel? You watch his channel or anything? No, he does. He doesn't. He, he, he just posts stuff like he just goes on other people's channels and then yeah. it all just gets like he doesn't even have a TikTok account, but he's all over TikTok. Mm. Strange, isn't it? I think it's all <laughs> to get people to his academy. Yeah, 
which is teaching you how to be a hustler. Mm. Oh, is that what it is? I think so, yeah. Right. Yeah, because there was some guy... So there was that advertising there with them cars at the end. I think so, right. yeah. But then there is like, there's footage of him going into a Bugatti dealership and just buying a Bugatti. Right. So there's an element of like, is he faking it? Can you fake it like that? I've watched a full podcast with him on it. It was like two and a half and he, like, it doesn't seem like he is, to be really? honest. It seems like he seems real of what he's talking about. <laughs> Yeah, quite like him. Quite funny, funny guy. It, yeah, I mean, it it didn't show some of the sketchier stuff. That yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah, I get that. And it, yeah. he's obviously a funny guy, mm. and he's a character. But yeah, there's a few things out there that he said where you're yeah, like, you want, you want yeah. people to be different. You want people to hustle it a little bit and uh, talk a lot of shit. I like people who talk shit. Yeah, same. Mm. Well, one one thing he said is um, he moved to Romania. I think you said this the mm. other day when we were going to do this video. Is he said because you can't bribe people in the UK and you, in Romania you just just, just bribe <laughs> everyone off. you can yeah, do whatever yeah. you want exactly <laughs> so, you know, it's not, probably not wrong yeah. well done lad anyway hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget like and subscribe hit the bell and we'll catch you on the next one cheers guys cheers, cheers.